Don't give power to thieves, says Yusuf Dati, as he cautions the NEF. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Ahead of the February 25th presidential elections, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has cautioned the National Elders Forum, NEF, against entrusting power into the hands of questionable characters. The ex-lawmaker said such actions will not attract God's mercy, Allah's Rama, to the country and especially the northern part of the country, presently buffeted by issues ranging from insecurity, abject poverty and worsening illiteracy. Addressing the 10th anniversary event and General Assembly of the Forum held at the Yaradwa Center in Abuja on Wednesday, the Labour Party vice presidential candidate traced the challenges facing his region and the country in general to an emerging culture that rewards failure and criminality. Taking a cue from Professor Usman Bugaje, who in his keynote paper raised concern over the decline of values with the region old so dear, enjoined the leaders to guard against rewarding criminality as the election draws near. Quoting the Adits, Dati regretted that most, much of the problem facing the country has centered around the failure of leaders and citizens alike to uphold the truth. Every four years, when we see election, we talk of Allah's Rahama. If you don't like your situation, change it. We cannot touch Allah's Rama for one key reason. We don't have the truth. We don't say the truth. And no institution or organization needs to say the truth like what we have here today. What is the truth? There are systems that have failed. Throw it out. There are individuals that have failed. Pull them out. In fact, Professor Bugaji, senior, senior colleague, when he spoke, said, Why is it that people who stole are given titles? I think it's very correct. But it will be more correct if he put it this way. Why should people who stole be given power? Giving reasons why the North should not continue in the direction that has proved unprofitable for the region over time, he urged them to join the rest of Nigerians that have opted to vote incompetent candidates with character, capacity and compassion to lead Nigeria at this time. He said Peter Obi, the Labour Party candidate, left imprint as governor of Anambra State. That should be of interest to the North. Noting that irresponsible governance has forced the region into a killing field as the people become impoverished. Where you see the problem, we see the solution. We have already said it. The enemies, the terrorists, bandits, kidnappers, name it, are no more formidable than constituted authority here. In fact, Maitama police station will root them. The fact is that there is no political will. They can be rooted if there is political will. Irresponsible governance has been responsible to the situation that we are in. We know how to create wealth. Logically speaking, we know how to move from consumption to production. We are the ones that will bring an end to the endemic corruption. Think. A governor who served eight years without borrowing left 75 billion naira for his state and refused to sign a law to collect money as pension. Match that with a vice presidential candidate who when in 2006, they were selling apple houses. Not that the act was wrong, but I disagree with the principle therein. One out of 360. The fact of the matter is that we don't have the truth, don't like the truth, and we don't support the truth. And that is why we can't touch Allah's Rahama. Nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. That idea now is that Nigeria has already resolved to vote in competence you can trust, characters you know, compassion you can feel, capacity that has been proven is submitted. Hmm. So those are the words of Dati Baba Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate for Labour Party with his principal, Peter Obi. Peter Obi and Dati have become a movement and the, well, the combination of their names, Obi Dati, has become a song in the mouth of youth all across the country. Silently, surely, they've taken their campaign round the country preaching their messages of compassion preaching their messages of peace preaching their messages of competence preaching their messages of capacity and in most cases 
not involved in, you know, condescending talks to other political parties. Obidati have become a fresh air to Nigerians who are tired of the long rule of the PDP and APC that has further plunged us into the high level of poverty, in fact, abject poverty, high level of insecurity, hyperinflation, students being at home for eight straight months during us to strike, multiple and continuous jackpying of professionals, doctors, lawyers, tech people, teachers, and even non-skilled workers to anywhere outside Nigeria. The jackpine has reached an all-time high, so much so that we are thinking what will be left for our country. So it's just the movement that is moving through them and the fact that they are an embodiment of that movement that the youth want to see in office. That's why their profile keeps rising every day. As a lot of people have decided to say, you know what? We are going to change and take a new route. And this time around, we are going the right route of Obidati, led by Peter Obi, who has left impeccable record as the governor, ex-governor of a state, Anambra State. What's your opinion on what he said? Do you think the National Elders Forum that he addressed would, would yield to that instruction or advice to say, don't give power to thieves. We know a lot of our politicians cannot be said not to be thieving. Let me use that word. In fact, we are just always hearing billions, millions of naira flying around in news and everything. And sometimes the security operatives will arrest them or maybe they go to court once and twice and that's the end of the story. Which shows that we really do not have laws that can prosecute anyone who is found in corruptions and allegations of money laundering and all of that. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next news. May God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.